my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and today I am going to be grooming a little Shih Tzu cross. It is my parents dog, her name is Sophie, and I am going to show you how Sophie goes from looking like this to looking like this. Yay! So I am going to be putting in clips and doing a little bit of a voiceover and I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as I upload videos one to two times a week and I'm hoping to do more of these full-on grooming videos. All right, so today on Miss Sophie, I am starting with a four blade. I am just doing a pre-shave or some people call it a rough cut. This helps to save shampoo and also save on drying time. Why take the time to shampoo and dry all of this excess fur that is just going to come off anyways? So as you can see, I'm just going very quickly. It is a rough cut. The final smooth cut will come after the bath. Just getting in here by her bum. Us groomers know you gotta you gotta work in the dirty areas as well. Now on these little Shih Tzu crosses, sometimes they get these hard eye goobers. So I'm just using my thinning shears to take those out before the bath. I find that this does less pulling at bath time in that area and it's just more comfortable and less work for me in the bath as well. I'm also giving her tail a quick brush and I'm going to remove any large mats again to save time. So here is Sophie with her rough cut before the bath. Moving on to bath time now, I have my shampoo and water already pre-mixed, so I'm just giving it a good shake, and then I'm going to lather her very well. Sophie gets a shampoo and then she also gets a round of conditioner as well. She's such a good girl. Just washing her ears really good. She has this fur that is like two different textures. So her body and her head and ears are different textures from each other. So I'm really getting into her ears. Those tend to get um, kind of greasy on her. Give it a little face massage. You have to wash all areas on the pup. Now is time for the rinse. Um, if you are shampooing your pup at home, make sure to always rinse thoroughly to make sure that they don't get any rashes or irritation. So I'm just rinsing her really well. I like this nozzle. I buy it from Canadian Tire. Look at her looking at me. How cute. What a cutie, she's so good. Alrighty, so just rinsing her face here, being very careful not to get any water in her nose. A trick is to point their nose downwards when you're, you are spraying the water. Okay, so Sophie's out of the bath and I'm just towel drying her really well. This also helps uh, save on dry time. And I also love these black towels if you're a groomer because it doesn't show any stains or dirt or anything. Um, okay, so uh, my clip deleted of me drying her body, but for a second there, you can see that she's wearing a happy hoodie. I just took it off of her, and now you get to see me drying her head, but honestly, me drying her body is kind of boring anyways. So I've sped this up for you guys because it's not too interesting, but it does look kind of funny with all her fur flying around there. What a cutie. Okay, we're moving on to nails now. And these nail clippers are actually just from PetSmart. I am waiting for some new ones to come in, so I've been using this in the time being, and I actually really like it. So now we are working on the shave on Sophie. I am doing the same four, but in reverse. When you reverse a blade, it uh, cuts even shorter. And reverse blades actually help you get a smoother cut. And here you can also see a great demonstration of my clipper vac at work. It is sucking up all that fur as I clipper. So today we are using a 4F 
on her body reversed and then I'm going to use a five not reversed on her legs just because I like her legs to be a little bit fuller. Getting in those armpits. Armpits are one of those places that get matted first. So here you can see that I am doing the five blade on her legs, no reverse. She's gotten so good with grooming. When I first started grooming her, um, she must have had a bad experience because she was pretty scared of it. But now she's really good. So now that I have used the clippers all over her body, I now brush and scissor her legs. The clippers don't get the fur like super even and perfect. So I do have to use my shears to even out her legs and trim around her feet, etc. I know lots of people say not to pick the feet up, but I can trust her that she's not going to move on me. So as you can see, I'm just trimming up all the stray hairs here on her leg to give it a nice finish. I am using the Black Pearl Shears, the Curved, and I absolutely love them. Also doing a little rounded foot on her. So in this clip, you can see one side of her feet and legs done and the other side that isn't done yet. We are moving on to her tail now. Now it may look like I'm pulling hard, but don't worry, I have my thumb positioned so it's not actually pulling on her skin. This is a dematting comb and that's what you have to use if there is any light areas of matting you need to get through. I am using my thinning shears now to blend the body into the tail a little bit. These are also black pearl. Okay, so her tail is now matte free and you'll see throughout this, I kind of like shake her tail lots. I do this to mimic kind of how it will naturally lay and get any of those stray hairs to kind of poke out so I can trim them. I also hold her tail at different angles, trim a bit, hold it up more, trim a bit so I can try to get it as even as possible, but we like her tail just lightly cleaned up and keep it fairly long. So now her body's done and we are moving on to her head. So I am using a quarter inch, uh, the Andis blue snap on. What you just saw there is a little trick I do. I like blow on the ear so I can see where I need to be using my snap on comb and where the ear lies. So then I don't suck up any of her long drop ears into my clippers. And then I just hold the ear down like that. So I do use a snap-on comb on her head. I don't use this for all dogs, but on hers I do. Right now I have her ear pulled to the back and I'm doing the sides of her faces. Now I love using these guard combs just to set the length. And then you will see that I'm going to use a lot of my thinning shears over top of this to even it out, give it a really nice finish. I like everything to look really natural. So in my grooms, I do a lot of uh, work with my thinning shears. Now also I'm avoiding using the guard comb like right over top of her eyes, like her eyebrow area. I like to scissor that area. I find if sometimes I use the guard comb right over top of it, as short as I did on the top of her head and the sides of her head, it gives her kind of like a scowl look. So at the end, I end up scissoring that and blending it. So now that I am done all my guard comb work, my step on comb, I'm just using my thinners to thin and blend around her ears and her head into her neck. And right now I have this sped up. I do a lot of this that I cut out. Now I'm just trimming by her ears. I brush up and then also blend into the longer part in her face because we give her a little teddy bear face. As you can see here, I'm trying to blend it into that shorter part. This whole groom took a little over two hours. I think she usually takes two hours. She has thick fur and I'm very picky about her head. So I have cut out a lot of thinning shears, etc. So I am just trimming right in by her eyes. And then I slowly use the thinning shears down the bridge of her nose. I do not shave down noses, but I do blend down the nose with thinning shears. 
Now we're getting all these like little stray hairs that stick out by their mouth. So I really get in there, thinning shear it out, make it a little bit smoother and match the rest of her look. I spend the most time on her head perfecting it. Now we are trimming by her eyes. This is why groomers get paid the big bucks. Look how close we are to those eyes. So I'm trimming her eyelashes right now. Also trimming by the corners of her eyes where she tends to get those goopies. And then here the other side. Look how cute she is. Okay, so now you can see that her brows are a little bit longer than the rest of her head. So I am just scissoring that by hand and then we'll also use my thinning shears to blend that into the rest of her head and make her have a really cute expression opposed to the scowl if I do use the guard comb right over top of her bangs. I know some people like to do a shaved lip on these little teddy bear kind of cuts, but I like a more natural look around her lips, so I just thinning sheer and use my normal shears kind of back and forth, just blending it and getting the shape that I want. Again, I cut out so much time out of this for you guys. This is a sped up version. Look how good she is. She's like closing her eyes. What a cutie. So in the beginning of this video, I said that she was a Shih Tzu cross. They kind of gave her to my parents and told her told them that she is a Shih Tzu Bichon, but uh, any groomer can probably tell that she probably has some poodle in her. So that's one side done, and then now we are moving on to this other side. Just trying to create a nice round little face. Now, uh, I cut off the part where I had to demat a little bit of her ears, but we are moving on to trimming the bottom of her ears. We like giving her kind of shorter bobbed ears. So I'm just using my black pearls again to cut those blunt at the bottom. Look at that face. Okay, so other ear here. And then I will also end up and using my thinning shears on the bottom of them. I just like everything looking really natural and no like super harsh lines. Um, you can see there's a little bit of ear hair that's not even here. So I brush the ear hair in all different directions to try to get them even. I have the most trouble with these kind of ears getting both sides even and all of it kind of trimmed. But okay, right now I'm grabbing her collar and I kept this clip in because look how cute she is. Just like looking around. She's so excited. I always wait till the very end to put their collar on. So every dog knows that once I grab that collar, it means that they're done cutie okay so sophie today has a little butterfly hoping that it will attract springtime to us and this is what sophie looks like after and her before and after thank you so much for watching today guys be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and i will see you in my next video